Legend of Total War here with part 84 of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. So previously we conquered Aretium over here. I just saw the massacre here. I forgot to build something here, so let's build that. Alright, I think we're pretty much at the end turn. We've got these guys here. I just want to push them out of the way. I could go and fight them, but I don't know. I kind of don't want to. There's nothing to gain from it except for killing them and they'll just get more. They can't really do anything and especially now that they've got no movement, they won't be able to use them. Sir. If I was to take you out of the city, how bad is the public order? It's not too bad. So if we could manage to maintain Sir. the garrison here, well that's the hard part then, isn't it? Just haven't got enough of these lovely skirmishes or whatever around. I might actually need to clear them off if we want to be able to move around. Alright. The thing with these guys though, like because the battle's like so not in their favour, they're probably going to do something really... S and Annoying, like corner camp or something appealing. like that. And the terrain, I don't like this terrain. Well, whatever. I'm here now, I'm not gonna withdraw. Yeah, see, look what they fucking do. Corner camping up here. Well, whatever. Why don't I just don't worry about them right now and. Hmm. I don't know. Just come up here and shoot them. Fuck, fuck it. I just, I can't be bothered with this shit. We're not even close to them, motherfuckers. The, the, yeah, that's the thing, I don't want to be bogged down for bloody half an hour on a stupid battle like this. But oh well, I gotta do it, I gotta get rid of these guys or else I can't get my troops from Rome to Eretium. And vice versa. Because if I can manage to get enough skirmishes to Eretium, this army here can leave and move on to, uh, the north of Italy. Just a bit of patience. I think I'm just getting a bit impatient with the campaign because I kind of like, we're at 84 episodes, and I'm not even half the map yet. I mean, I knew this was going to be a long series, but it's like, come on already, come on, I'm trying to conquer them as fast as I can, but, you know, if I, if, here's, here's the thing, I could probably do the battles faster, but they won't be as good, you know, just gotta rush a bit more. But do I want to do that? No, I want to do a good job. I really don't want this series to hit to 200 episodes. I really don't. But I said I'd make a commitment to uh, to finish the whole thing, get the whole map. But at the same time, it's like, oh, what have I got myself into? Because you might think, oh, what are you not having fun or anything? It's not about fun, okay? It's it's about you know, you know, I've got other shit I need to do because my channel is my business. But if I get bogged down on 200 series, 200 episode long series, it's very bad. Stop, that's, that's not really that good. Let's come at them from different angles. Just spread out a little bit more. Because you're getting a little bit friendly fire. Let's see how we go with that. The thing is, they're shooting up a hill. Hang on, I got an idea. How about you stop shooting and just leave it to them? Because they're shooting on a flank, they'll do a bit more damage. You should both come up here. Because when they run, I want to hit them. Oh, 
From this angle here, we're unlikely to kill their general, but that's fine. Okay, their other forces are coming over this way. Need to get set up. Spears down in a moment. Stop shooting. <laughs> Instant routage. Probably because they were tired. Where's the rest of them? Okay, we got Gallic Heavy Swords and there's another one over here. No, 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 no. I need to take them off if I will. I'll just tell them what to shoot at. Okay, do these here have javelins? Yeah, so avoid them. Don't go too close. Shit. Back. Well, it's not the end of the world. I'll probably send them to go get retrained soon. That's the thing. If it wasn't for the fucking trees, I would have seen that he was there. No one ever gives me shit about just like fighting in trees. I thought people would, but they don't. I reckon from everyone hates fighting in the trees. It's not there to be good for you, it's there to be good for the AI. I don't mind fighting in the trees when I'm fighting a human player though. Because they have the same disadvantage. Doesn't work that way for the AI, they can fucking see you in the trees. That's fine. We've definitely dished out a good amount of damage to them in this one. However, of course, losing those two Scythe Chariots there is a bit of a bummer. Oh, they don't have to go quite as far as these guys do to get retrained. Just need to go to Anatolia. I'm fairly sure if we entered the... Oh, hang on. We're not quite at 85% yet. You're doing a horrible job of running them down, you know that? This is the problem, they, all they do is they get to the center of the battalion, wherever the hell that is, and then they just stay there. It's a little bit irritating. But even though we're shooting it front on, um, the high ground advantage is just pummeling right through their armor. Uh, 
That's enough. So the, the fucking two kills. The other damage that we took with our um, thing is that was friendly fire, of course. Which happens. But Slingers is not really a big deal if they take that damage. I can actually retrain them in Italy. Victory and honor. So, move out. Okay, well don't keep it this way. Now. Hmm. Jibbit is such a useful um, thing, but... Marduk is shit. I think that's what I have to replace it with. So that'll need to be destroyed at some point. I mean, if there, if it was like this one, which is like maxed out, you know, that's great. In theory, this looks, you know, fantastic, but that public order bonus, that doesn't exist. That's just, that's just glitched out. It doesn't happen. Otherwise, Marduk would have actually been quite good. Yeah, the the uh, the horse track was there. It replaced it. All right then. Uh, what else 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 is there to do this turn? Can we recruit? Got to keep recruiting as many of these as I can. Oh, hang on, Taras. We're low on low on people here. Get some of these to room. So I can get some of these to a retium. Not yet. When the time comes, maybe to leave it. Okay, now don't forget these guys here need to be retrained before we end the turn. if there's anything else I could do. I probably could have used this guy to, to get rid of these stupid shits that it wouldn't in the way, but I didn't. So, oh well. Anyway, just get rid of some rebels and they end up coming back. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. My lord, moving into position. All right, moving on to the next turn. So before we do that, make sure this is retrained. Actually, can we lower lower this by any chance? Yeah, I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Don't know why the Romans keep putting their soldiers at risk. Make an absolute fortune. Good, this guy's taken over as governor, and no real issues here. Good. Okay, this guy's gonna block the way for him to come through. And you need to come down this way as well. You need to fort up everywhere you go, of course. What's the population here? I wouldn't mind bringing these guys a few more reinforcements, even if it is just, you know, throwaway units like this. These guys are building up another army. Even though they've only got three regions left, I can't, I can't leave here. Ready. 
ready to sail. Okay, these guys need to keep moving. March. Out of move, sir. Okay, ready. Got this. What was I doing with this? Oh, don't tell me. Oh god. Why the hell did Ready! People are gonna criticize me on that in the previous episode. You selected the wrong unit and brought it onto the ship. Yeah, alright. You can just stay here, I guess. Sir! Ready! And you you can be retrained at Sardis. Splitting the troops. Ships ready! Ships ready! Set sail! Out of move, sir! Uh, where's that other guy? You? Sir! Okay, so you should go back with sir. them. Keep them together. My lord, moving into position. Okay, what's going on here? Public order's going to shit. I can't recruit anything. I'm gonna have to send some, some extra garrison. My lord, move out! It's a shame because I'm trying to grow the population of Pella. But whatever. Do what we gotta do. I mean this settlement here it's it's being developed, so that'll really help it, I think. Oh, it's already got that. Doesn't matter. So when are we going to leave here? Okay, at least it's good to see the unrest is going down. The culture penalty hasn't gone down at all. Despite having built that. That's alright. Um, build this and that'll replace that unit there, uh, that building there. It's kind of good that they've got this, I guess. Provides a bit extra public water that I can't build. The Romans knew how to keep their people happy. You know. Comparative, comparatively to everyone else. Sir. Forward. All right, then it's time to go to war with Armenia. Move out. That army was not there last turn. Sir. But it's not necessarily a bad thing Order. if it's in there. So they got a very fresh army here. These guys here didn't get retrained. Well, they, they would only get... Oh, they would get some experience if they got retrained at Antioch. Well, it's too late now. I'm going to send them back for that. But that would have made them a lot better. Not much here. So we're at war with them now. How many wars have we got? Three. Yeah. So this is a large town. Could have been developing into a minor city. It would be good if we can take this and occupy it. This guy seemed to lose a bit of his um, influence. Is there anyone else that we can get over here that's got a bit more influence? No. Because it would be good to occupy it. And he's just got m management. That doesn't help with public order. Anyone that we got from down here would just take too long to get there. So, oh well, maybe we need to exterminate them. I guess we'll wait and see. Forward. No more moves, sir. Fortify position. Move out. No more moves, sir. With the public order here is improved, I think. Continues to improve. The thing is, with this, it actually lowers public order by 10%. So maybe just leave that for now. Alright, so let's have a look. Large Temple of Artemis. No, I don't want Artemis. I think this guy's going to stay here for the remainder of his life, which isn't really that long. If I also destroy this, that would get rid of 15% public order, bring that down to 80. Okay, we can justify that. Much 
quarter of a penalty do we have? 35, okay, it's not too bad. My lord, moving into position. Oh. Alright, now what? There's nothing, it's been good, nice and quiet out here. I haven't had to do anything. Oh, there's a lot of, a lot of expenses here. So if you have a look at this region, it, it does make a bit of money, but the public order is under control, so maybe we can disband some of the stuff. The, um, the Subeshi archers have more upkeep costs than these guys, so we need to get rid of them. Because that'll save me a little bit of cash, nearly 500 a turn. If I disband another one, I, I reckon that'll cause public order issues. If I need to recruit them again at some point, that's fine. This guy here is maintaining public order in this region. He wouldn't be able to leave. Pretty sure he's the king's son. He's not the faction heir, is he? No. Who is the faction heir? You know what I should do? I should make this guy here the faction X. He's young. He's 23 years old. His name is... Oh god, trying to find this guy in, in that family tree is going to be pretty damn hard. Found him. <laughs> Alright then. Alright, so this guy is dull, uncharismatic, vigorous. So he's not the best guy he could possibly be. And who's the current faction heir? I don't care who the current faction heir is. I'm going to invest into this guy. I mean, he might not be the greatest guy at the moment, but we can shape him. At least becoming heir, he's, um, where is it? He gains um, a bit of extra influence. All right, now what? All right, let's build some stuff. Alright, let's have a look. We need growth. Public order's under control. We've got a little bit of corruption, though. The thing is, we can get this to um, the next level, as in huge city, and then we can destroy it, because then we would only need the population growth. However, it's still got 2%, so maybe we just leave it be for the time being, and continue to try and get rid of this corruption, which is almost... We've almost managed to get rid of it. See, that little law there is really increasing my income by getting rid of this expense. This one's also got a tiny little bit of corruption. And that gets rid of it. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Just, I don't really like that building. To see that it actually lowers my income, it's kind of irritating. Okay, Persepolis. Bit of corruption here, It'd be good if we got rid of it. If we want to increase public order, we can get rid of that, but it'll also reduce our income because it'll increase corruption. But even if we did destroy it, it wouldn't be enough to fix up this to a huge city. We can build up the large market. I'm fairly sure we can build the biggest market in a large city. There's no rush. Why don't we just reduce the corruption further and we'll work on that chain later. Very little corruption here. It's almost at huge city. Needs more population. Again, we can 
improve the market, but there's still a bit of corruption here. I'd like to get rid of all of it. Need to build this at some point. It almost gets rid of it all. And it increases trade a little bit. Yeah, okay. We've got the money for the, these expensive buildings, and they do take a while to build. There's no corruption here. This is already a huge city. Even if we lower the law, it's still um, increasing. Um, wouldn't get any uh, additional corruption. There's no need for that right now. I guess build up the market, that's that's what's going to give us a lot of money. Okay then, this region here needs... needs growth. Doesn't have any corruption, go ahead with the market. There are a lot of large cities that need to grow. Tiny little bit of corruption if we... Doesn't really get rid of very much of it. Let's work on getting the... Um, getting the larger Gora or whatever it is. Because that provides like an extra 0.5% uh, population growth. No downsides to the building. This one here will we'll get to huge city on its own. So in the meantime, build that I suppose, just reduce corruption. Maracanda. Trying to get this to huge city. Now, if we were to build this, 600 extra mining, how much extra corruption? Extra 200. So the corruption's roughly 30%. A little bit more than that actually. I'd rather just get this to huge city. Got a lot of stuff to build. It's half the fucking episode is just gonna be me building shit. Maybe I just need to just make decisions a bit faster on this stuff. Well when that kind of stuff happens, it's that's a no-brainer. Spending a lot of money this turn. Which is fine, you know, that's what it's there for. Okay, public order here is reasonable. Go, just get some more public order. It can always go downhill very quickly. Okay then, so that used up a ton of our money. I don't think we're making a profit this turn. No, we're down 60,000. That's all right, that's why we're saving it up. Just eventually spend it. All right, what are we going to do with this? I don't think we can move. These two here, they're not needed there. They're needed down here. They don't have enough slingers by far. Oh, hang on, there's another one there. Alright, so sending you down my lord, here. My lord, forward! No more moves, sir. Yes, Stratigos. Okay, we've got a lot of guys here at Rome. Now, looking at over here, because I would like to press the attack. That's a large city, that's a large town. Obviously, we'll go for the large city first because we'll be able to establish public order a lot faster there. It was also more valuable to them and me. Let them build that up to large, uh, minor city, whatever, it doesn't matter. Alright, so let's just see firstly. I'm gonna grab, hang on, grab all of these. Ah, oh, shit, they selected that first. Victory and honor. 
Now let's see if we can funnel enough of these guys in here to maintain public order. Yeah, we can, but now Rome has issues. But we can probably just send one more of these over. And we're fine. Good, so we can press the attack. So what do we what have we got here? Some good units that have looked like they've already been through the meat grinder. Well I got no problem with putting them through the meat grinder again. This time they're not coming out of it. God damn fucking trees everywhere. Alright, this fucking ruin here is in the way. Well, whatever, let's just let's get organized. So yeah, the best way to get rid of them with minimal casualties is if we can shoot them all. I mean, we might not have enough ammunition to kill every last one of them, because these guys can go into Testudo. We'll see if they're smart enough to do that, though. The Triarii, shooting them head-on. They're even more armoured than the bloody... Um, cohorts. Seems to be working, they're penetrating their armor. Let's see if we can get rid of them before they get too close. Okay, these guys can be replaced. Quick, they've turned their back, shoot them. Um, I don't know. Shit, they killed a lot of Triari right then. They got first cohort. Pretty sure they, they can only get that from Rome, can't they? They're not going to get any more of those. They got a lot of conquering to do if they want to get back to Rome. See if you can get a shot in on them while well, they've got their back turned. Keep shooting them. Come on, these guys as well. Get rid of the first cohort. Good. And don't forget to keep shooting them. 
I'm happy with how this is going. I mean, we're taking a few casualties from the Slingers, but they can be replaced. I just need to send them to Capua. They're not shooting them. Get rid of their eagle. They can't get any more Triari, right? Every one of them that we kill, they can't replace. I can't even retrain them. If you're just gonna sit there and take it, you should probably get into Testudo, but I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I mean, I don't care. Shouldn't have told them. Not that they can hear me. Gonna increase their shield values. So we need to get in closer if we want to do damage. Nice tight little testudo there. And then they just broke through. They're out of here, they're fucked now. Idiots, you should have just stayed still. I mean, what can they do, really? So you gain great tactician, good for you. Yes, Alright, so yeah, we want to um, go after Benonia. Splitting the troops, destroy them, besieging settlements, sir. It's a walled settlement, which means it'll take us a little while to do that. If you know we've got to capture the walls, that kind of shit. But oh well, it's still worth it to take it. Then after that, I might send one of these guys down to get retrained at um, Kapua. The uh, Slingers, that is. Okay, I don't think there's anything else for me to do this turn. Ships ready. Ships ready. My lord. Okay, you need to be retrained. What else? Well, there's always something I forget. It's not that important then, I guess. Moving on. Kind of want the other army to make their attack as well. So Retium's gone down here with public order, but I could probably just send another one from Rome. Well, it's not, it's not the fact that I'm worried about this battle. I'm not. It's more a case of we've already hit past 39 minutes. I'm just worried about crashing. Um, this really shouldn't be a difficult battle, so let's just... You know, if it crashes, it crashes. I've been, it's been good lately. But the thing is, it gets bad whenever I push the envelope and just sort of, like, keep pushing for longer episodes. I really do need to keep them around 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You know, maximum. Bit of fog. I can still see through it. We've got a big high ground advantage here. This is big. And of course, they have to attack me. So this is good. The only problem is that our general is a piece of shit. He has absolutely no command. And um, it might have actually been a while since it's been supplied, so some of the guys might be a little bit not particularly happy about the situation. 
However, we have a massive advantage in regard to numbers and quality of units. And I suppose the extra experience that these guys have should make up for the fact that this guy's got no command. I mean, they, they really shouldn't break. It would have been good if these guys should have gotten them retrained when I had the chance. It's too late now. General close. Alright, so just gotta be patient and wait for them to get over here. Like I said, they're on the attack, there's no need to go head on against them, not when we've got this nice high ground here. And I guess if their infantry get too close, these guys here might be able to terrify them. That's not very organized right there. It matters, so let's sort ourselves out. Yeah, I thought it did that. I wish they'd hurry up. I can get over here. So I can kill you. You don't stand a chance. Just come over here and die. Which one's their general? The pikeman there. Well, let's see how these guys do, just by having no experience. Yeah, not too bad, they're getting a few kills. I guess that high ground's sort of making up for it. They really shouldn't be wasting too much ammunition on these losers. The Bygone Bards! Okay, what I want to do is I just want to send you in. You can handle him. I kind of shouldn't be sending him in without them, but whatever. Because I want to conserve their ammunition. He shouldn't have any trouble killing them. I mean, he outnumbers them two to one. Plus he's got the high ground advantage. Looks like they want to come up at us at a gentler slope, which is actually kind of fine with me because there's less trees up this way, which means I get more visibility. Right, well, if they want to come up this way, that's fine. Let's get organized. Let's get organized so that we're facing them properly. Still keep the line fairly long though, because they might try and outflank us. Right. You did alright, I guess. quite quickly. What are they? Eastern... Medium Eastern Cavalry. We need to shoot him. They're rushing at me, which is kind of smart because I was reforming. Okay, you two don't shoot him. Oh, shit. Get him, get him back behind the line there. Not a big deal, even if they break. They're okay. Guess our general isn't a total piece of shit. Okay, now these guys are in the way. Get over here. 
Actually, no, you come around over this side. Okay, I still want them to fire at will. That would be best right here, but we don't have time to get them there. So what do we lose? 21 men? No big deal. Alright, what are we shooting at here? It doesn't really bother me, but if we can get rid of their uh, cavalry... That would probably be the best idea, because they're the most maneuverable of their units, even though they've got some pikemen, it might be a good idea to shoot them as well. This guy's hanging back, fine by me. Well, you can really feel the difference between, you know, an experienced unit and a fresh one. In fact, the fact that this guy's taking some damage could actually be a good thing. Because I've got that other experience slinger coming up. You can uh, give it some experience. They're not getting through this. Might be shooting our guys in the back a little bit, but that's okay. The great thing about Armenia is that... Um, Reinforcements don't take too long to get here. Okay, shoot him as he's going away. Now, I'm fairly sure they still have another cavalry unit somewhere. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he's, he's thinking about leaving. They are doing fucking awful. Foot archers, get rid of them. Why does this guy keep taking so much damage? Or well, whatever, I don't even care. It could be good for that they're taking damage. Hang on, what's going on over here? Just saw that on the map there. Never mind. Let's fucking get them on them. These guys are ripping to shreds. Ripping the shreds. It's gonna need some experience. Good job to run down the, the stragglers when they leave. Good, you did really well there. Don't stop on them, though. What are their archers doing? Are they shooting at us? Yeah, you need to keep shooting them. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's... No, no, he's still here. Doesn't look like he wants to leave yet. But the battle's lost for them. Okay, now just pick your own targets. Actually, no, no. Shoot the uh, native phalanx. These guys here are wavering. Might as well go after them. Ah, oh, shit. I hope they don't kill my general. He is the faction heir now.
crap. Damn it, that didn't work at all. Can be a bit hit and miss sometimes with them. Um, with these. Ah, damn. Oh well, it happens. This is why we need a good general. Stop that from happening. If I had been a bit quicker on this, they would have stayed. They might. They'll probably come back. Either that or they go berserk. Which is actually worse. Stay put. Don't go berserk. Okay, all of you guys get off this and just charge at them. It's foot arches. Go after them. Like I said, I want to get rid of every last one of them if we can. So, 70% of them, so we've still got 15% to go, not to mention we wiped out the, the first, I mean that one doesn't really make any difference, it was like 60 men. I'm probably shooting my own men a little bit. smash them. Okay, you need to come around over here as well, because you want to frighten them as much as possible. They're probably a bit dismayed by loss of the battle. Maybe a little bit. There's still any, it's a, another battalion around here running around. Where is it? There it is. I get the feeling like there's a unit, a man missing from this. Charging into the. Okay, no. Maybe not. Best way to handle this guy is to surround him, of course. Stay back for this. Where's he going? And you boxed it. Okay, 
Pike's down, guys. And he's fighting to the death. This works so much better out in the field than it does in a city. That, that just worked exactly how I wanted it to. Oh, what a rapage. This is what I like to see. That battle went great. A few slip ups here and there, but for the most part, very good. Let's just hope it doesn't crash. But like I said, the game's been pretty good lately. I think it's ever since I it, like eliminated some of those weird factions like Sakura Um The game's been going a lot easier. As it, not easier, but um, less crashes. I feel like it crashes because there's too much data in the campaign map, so when you wipe out an entire faction, or their family tree and all that kind of information, it just gets wiped from the from the save game. Okay, we'll occupy it because I know that it can it's got six thousand people in there, we can get it to minor city. It's close to the capital, so we should be fine. It's good, and Jerusalem also grew. Good. It's another settlement for me. So we're now sitting on 90 territories, which is not even half of the map yet. Half of the map would be 99. And even that's not half, it's like... 45... 49.5%. Because 40, there's 199 regions. But one of them we technically can't get to, but I said what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 198 regions first and then teleport over there. So that we get the whole map. Okay, public order's fine. We don't need to send someone over here. They'll come and assist, but they're just, they're just crap. I don't have to worry about them too much. All right, well, that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 85 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.